My personal view is that we're, we're all born scientists and it's just a matter of how we take that as we, as we grow older. What first got me interested in science was science fiction and in particular Doctor Who. I have a cousin and when I was about six I really used to admire him because he seemed to know the answer to everything simply because he's an engineer and I thought I'd, I'd like to be as smart as he is so I thought that that was the place to be. I do remember the first time I went into a library at the age of probably five or six that the first book I took off the shelf was a science book so something had inspired me. Not everything's explained in science, there's a lot of things we don't know about. My curiosity was uh, was a walk-in by that. We had a career day at, at our high school and we had a visit from a geologist who came in a plaid shirt with a big scruffy beard and told us all about field geology and that really got me inspired. What fascinated me was finding out things that people didn't already know. My favourite thing about Diamond is, is the potential for doing a wide variety of science at the facility. It's all very exciting, you get to meet people from a wide range of disciplines and, and understand how they approach a, a specific problem, I think it's, it's very interesting. Well really my favourite thing about Diamond, I have to say it's the people working here. Uh, I do enjoy the science enormously and the engineering is stunning, but actually it's the people working here, they're, they're amazing. Diamond is a place where we use cutting-edge technology to support the cutting-edge science. It's truly a world-class facility and we are limited by our own imaginations. I mean, there is nobody preventing me from winning a Nobel Prize other than myself. Diamond has quite a big role to play in a couple of the big challenges that face humanity. We've certainly got an energy problem, we've got pollution problems, and there are great bits of science going on here at Diamond now that I think in 10 years' time will lead to products that will actually help us overcome those barriers. We're all born scientists.